Hello, happy Monday. Taurus, this one is for you, directly about you. I'm not going to delve into the connection right now. I want to see what you are doing. What's going on here? Uh-huh. I'm going to put that right back in, see if that works. Taurus, this one is for you, tapping into your energy. God bless our subscribers. Send, send them their, your angels. Protect them, guide them. Keep them free of fear, worries, anxieties. Give them perfect health, perfect love. Taurus, this is you. Tapping into you. Let's see what we have here. Taurus, come through. We have the Emperor. Aries energy, the Emperor. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Messenger. Fire energy. Four of Wands. More fire energy. The great foundation. Now we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. In the middle of your reading, King of Wands, leader. Next we have King of Cups. We are going for clarification too. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups. All of this emotion. And then the Lovers. The lovers. Do you see that angel high above? The lovers. At the bottom of your deck, Taurus, for you, we have Eight of Wands. Beautiful. Emotion, emotion. Taurus, tapping into your energy here. Your energy. These are generalized readings, but I'm trying to see what's going on for Taurus, your energy right now. Divine, help me. Thank you, Taurus. Beginning with our beautiful Emperor. Again, Aries energy. Now we're going to Two of Wands, beginning these thought processes to send out to the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior pose, to the King of Pentacles. How you have a lot of beautiful, regal, royal energy here. Beginning with the Emperor, Aries energy. You're setting about... Okay, again, generalized readings, it won't be for everyone, but someone here has been sitting in um, their employment, knowing that they could do better, knowing that they could do better, feeling like they should uh, perhaps strike out on their own. Um, you have so many ideas. It's like you're sending these ideas out into the universe. You have, you're holding the world you know what you're you know what you're capable of as far as creating a company creating something of your own something with your name on it wounded warrior you've been in this holding pattern for a while the king of pentacles the man with the coin i see something very good coming for coming from you stepping forward into your power we have a messenger page of wands uh, let's go into clarification. <laughs> to the Knight of Wands. I love it. From a knight to a page. I'm oh, sorry. From page to a knight. It's very exciting because it's as if this momentum's building up. Increasing. To the King of Swords. You're, you might get in your own way. You might logic your way out of the moon, Piscean energy. You might logic your way out of stepping forward. You might say... Is it the right time? Um, I'm afraid. What if I fail? Such things like that. However, look at the first part of this reading. 
I, and then clearly you get in your own way. The foundation, it is just, okay, someone has to been taking advantage of you at work, um, using your good energy, your positivity. It's as if you, you arrive at work ready to do um, a great deal of pro productivity, and it's as if someone's weighing you down. When you do come up with something very ingenious, someone else takes the credit for this. The High Priestess, you had this great intuition, Piscean energy all over the place here, and Queen of Wands. You're going to be able to um, figure out how to do this. Your project, your, your project is your birthright, by the way. We have justice here. Your project, you're set to go forward and do something wonderful. It is your birthright that you have this. You call it like a project, a pet project, but actually it is your, almost like a life theme. What you have been through is going to be helpful to so many people in this world. Six of Wands, this is a community recognition of success. You are going to be successful to the Emperor again. You see, I use a double deck. Yeah, you are going to win this Six of Cups. Someone from your past is going to come back and help you. You te um, Ten of Wands, you have a lot of burdens on your shoulders right now. I will say it's difficult to fly when you feel constantly weighed down. It's difficult to fly when you feel tethered by other people's needs. Someone's going to come back around and either be a mentor or help you with some of the finances. The Emperor here, twice, Aries energy, this is going to be a winner. You have to believe your, yourself as much as the universe does. King of Wands, the great leader. The great leader knows how to read blueprints. They, the great leader knows how to delegate work. That's you in the middle of your reading. Then we have the Eight of Swords in the upright. You're up in your head. You again, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. You it's as if you're saying, I don't want to get my hopes up because I don't want to be uh, disappointed. Then we have the Eight of Cups. You will be moving away. You're walking away from something that wasn't productive and you're going to what? Your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah. You, this is the truthiness of it all. You know intrinsic truths within your field. You know things that they don't even teach in textbooks because you've what? You've lived through it. So this life is the best teacher and you, my dear, have been through a lot. King of Cups, what you do, you're going to, again with the, the, the lovers, King of Cups, the lovers, are you going to be working with someone that you are connecting with on a romantic level? I'm asking you this because and here we have the Page of Cups. Someone, it's at the gift, and then the hanged men. Yeah, someone has a crush on you, but they are too afraid. They're, they put themselves in position that they're too afraid to approach you. Why? Because you're the Empress. They do have this to offer you, though. I know this is a personal reading, um, the Ten of Cups. It's like the best of both worlds. It's business, but it's also your future. Let's go on to the Nine of Pentacles. Worry-free, carefree, increased energy. See, once you let these shackles off your feet, you're going to be free to fly. And then we have the star. You are the star. Aquarian energy. All your hopes, wishes, and dreams. And then, of course, we had to have the Empress. We had to have the Empress. Absolutely. Step into your power. Step into your power. Do not doubt yourself. Then the Knight of Cups bringing that lovely... And again, if you, didn't, if you doubt it, don't doubt it again. The Empress shows up. What is this? What is this? This person thinks of you as so um, beguiling and yet very um, 
like the, the Queen of Swords. I I know what I want. I know how to get it. Don't mess with me. I see Joan Crawford. Don't mess with me, fellows. It's not my first time at the rodeo. Um, you know how to get this done, and you do it with a plum. Two of Pentacles. You're up in your head. You're balancing what you want to do, what you should do, with what you feel like you have to do right now. And then we have the Three of Wands. From the Two of Wands, right here, sending out those ships, sending out that message in a bottle, and then Three of Wands, waiting for those ships to come in. And look, their ship is coming in, laden down with rewards. Rewards, just rewards for all you've done. Again, to the Justice card. The Lovers, where are you? Six of Pentacles. Now we're having equal attention and affection. Six of Pentacles. Justice card is the theory. Six of Pentacles is that theory put into practice. Actually receiving something. Not just, okay, let's have justice. Let's feel. Let's hold justice. And if you doubted me, see it twice. Justice card again. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> what? The magician. The magician. Someone has been thinking of you, Taurus. Someone has been thinking of you. Okay, they've been watching you at work. They know what you're able to do. Okay, I'm going to keep on going here. Then we have the high priest. The high priest. Queen of Cups. Okay, so you have the best of both worlds. You have this intuitive mobility and then the ability to remain calm in crisis. The wheel of the year, your wheel of fortune is turning. You must believe that. Page of Wands, again, very flirtatious. There's a joyousness to this in the chariot. It's happening. It's, it's being willed to happen. Remember, the charioteer is moving the horse, not with reins, but by their sheer will. And then two of swords, again, with up in their head. You have options. You have options. Of course, your option is to stay put and to keep on doing what you've been doing. However, the, terror, um, the universe, the divine, is pointing to a golden chalice, saying there is something beautiful coming your way. Will you be receptive? Three of pentacles. You are a study of nature. You might be in mental health, a uh, helper agent, um, someone in health care. There's a passion to help people, and that is what drives you. Then we have the queen of pentacles. The hostess with the mostess, making everyone feel welcome with their talents to temperance, being made strong through patience. At the bottom of the deck we have, there he is, the man with the coin. You guys, you're going to do it. You're going to do it, and it's going to be wonderful. Taurus, this one is for you. Now, I'll take a break, and I'll come back and do a reading for your person. If you don't have a person, maybe it's someone who's coming down the road for you. Taurus, I love you guys. Please subscribe. Keep us going. Okay, bye-bye.